Does anyone else like the Emperor's Sardaukar? Because we are playing House Carino today. And we are fixing to get ourselves some Sardaukar. Go out and cause a ruckus with him. Maybe we even sell some Sardaukar to the people. It might be fun. Lots, lots of stuff we can do. Lots to do. Maybe we'll go straight into four guys. I don't think I've ever done that before, but I'm a little worried we might struggle with this very first double militia. Conscripts are not known for their um, tankiness, I guess is the word. For their, the conscripts aren't really known for their anything, unfortunately. <laughs> we are gonna have to micro. Ugh, the haggard micro. We might run out of supplies. Oh my god, don't run out of supplies here. Why is this so hard? Are my conscripts really that haggard? I think they might be. They might be just that haggard. Let's go home. We go home. We've lost the first fight of the game, boys. And then the guy died of supplies. What the heck? Off to a good start today. Off to a good start today. Oi. Okay. It's alright, yes, we, we prepared ahead. We got reinforcements to go take this empty village. It Nobody could have seen that. They're all too far away. They haven't explored yet. They couldn't see my shame. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. We are in the northeast, it appears. And we are the Great House um, um, Carino. That one, the Great House Carino. Let's get ourselves our spice harvester yes, up. Let's get all our guys yes, together. Majesty. Boy, there is not a lot of exciting land around us, I guess. I guess we like that. We like that a fair bit. Plus 20% on top of rare yes, elements. Majesty. We like that a whole order, bunch, majesty. actually. Next to the base, especially. That'll be a moneymaker. Yes, let's, um, let's hope this fight goes a little better. Who we got today? We've got the mighty Kenry on House Vernius. Uh, we've got Zord Akiano on Ikaz and Captain Lanky on the Harkonnens. Captain Lanky says this is his third game, so we welcome him to the fold and we will beat him mercilessly for daring to waste our time. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Captain Lanky. Welcome, welcome. We, uh, we love new players right here. We love new players. As long as they don't leave, there's only one rule. There's only one rule. Every everybody fights, nobody quits. We probably want a third Thopter up. Should have done that a little earlier. Just you always want at least three, and then I think the fourth Thopter is is optional. You can think about that one. But you want three. For sure. Let's go processing plants. What's good over here? Abandoned Imperial Stations are great. What's this? This is a Sandfall. A Sandfall for and bonus Plascrete factories. Alright, that's great too, actually. We need a Plascrete place, and maybe that is it. Because we don't have any other minerals around us. Maybe we look to an early Sandfall. 103 to annex. It's a tad high, if we're being honest. It's a tad high. We are nicely nestled back along the edge of the map. We like that. Deploy that harvester, please. Hmm. So, if we're gonna take that, is there any reason to get this? That pays out statecraft and stuff. I think it might just be a pillaging village, though. This guy's research hub. Yeah, both of those are pretty boring villages. I think we're just gonna be pillaging them for a while. For a while. That guy's also pretty boring over there. Not the most impressive starting position we've 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 got. We Seen better. We'll make we'll make a good use out of uh, the, these rare elements yes, up here. But other than that, it's a, it's a bit sparse, a bit spare. This one will be okay. Fuel cells, meh. Don't particularly care about. Yes, Majesty. Yes, Majesty. Yes, Majesty. Okay. Let's make sure we're still building stuff. This guy is one per building. What am I going to build here? Maybe a recruitment office kind of guy? Do some recruitment offices. Keep pillaging. 
This guy is due for his second processing plant. Oh, you do love Princess Urilan. And in fact, we ought to be grabbing stuff with our boy Hasimir. Mr. Fenring allows us to grab stuff from anywhere on the map, but we want that one right there. All right, maybe we're feeling pretty wealthy from our pillaging. I think we will invest in one more Thopter. We eyeball. Maybe we buy this to speed our authority along and we make our way down. That puts us right in time for Sandfall. Good, good, good. We can do that. That'll work for us. <clears throat> What's this? Ooh, the Well of Riches to the south. Carino loves a well of riches. Oh, being able to double build processing plants at a plus 100%. Yes, Pretty Majesty. fabulous, we let me tell you. Please get off of my range, guys. Okay, we took that. What's up here? That'll reveal a siege. We could do that one. Always grab stuff out of the deserts because other people are likely adjacent to the deserts and they might grab stuff before you. What are we getting here? We're taking Imperial Administration. I think we're going to come back and go for Integrated yes. Costs and then back up to Outpost Logistics. Maybe we grab an Absolute Power in the meantime. We probably should have done that, but here we are. All factions, all factions, all factions. We are all houses, so we're all somewhat political. We kind of want the Trial of the Great Houses to come up because it would stick everybody in the pits, and that would be very funny. So let's go ahead and put some votes on that. We are not really by the sink, so I don't think we would get that one. The water subsidies would be no good for us. Let's see what we get. Trial of the Great Houses would make me laugh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because uh, House Carino starts at a higher land. Oh, it did go off. Ek has got a little bit to keep them out of the pits thanks to research investments going off in their blue tech, but uh, we stuck Harkonnens in the Verdius, in the pits. To the pits! Not happy with you, Devak. <laughs> uh, um, Kenry said before the game that he was trying out um, uh, some, some new, some new, um, what did he call it? He called it some, some merciless new Vernius plan. He knows that assassinating is the Vernius thing, but he was going to try something even different. So I said, okay, let's see what you got, Kenry. And um, I hope it wasn't, uh, I hope it wasn't, uh, oh, we got a siege right there. I hope he wasn't trying to go governor. <laughs> you can't governor rush from the pits, that's for sure. Oh, I told you it would make me laugh. I'm extra happy that Kenry's bothered by it. <coughs> I like early triple yellow. We are ready. I think the money making is the way. Ooh, we got some spice up there. And then a desolation to keep our northern flank safe. Interesting. I think we want that spice probably Reporting sooner rather than later. Wait. Don't do what I do, do what I say, which is grab the stuff from the desert. We are Okay, we've kept that safe. Doot, doot, doot. There was, we searched for one there. That can't be where, is that where the, the, that guy came from? And maybe it was. We should have waited on our search. I was gonna scan over here anyways. I guess I would have missed it. This guy, 10% Solari production, and on another rare elements, oh, it must be ours. It must be ours, we must have it. This guy, I think, Villages, one building of each type. Okay, in that case, you get a recruitment office and then an investment we office. And we will cackle all the way to the bank. Resolve that one. We'll go take yes, that one. There's Majesty. our boy Kenry to the west. We, serve the Imperium. Coordinating we might the as well go up and get to work on that one. Looks like Ikaz to the south. I think they've got probably the claim on the Well of the Riches down there, unfortunately. This guy was building recruiting hubs, wasn't he? Do I need another one? Probably. Probably. 
Okay, we're integrated costs, and we'll come back for outpost logistics after absolute power. Yes, Majesty. Because we do need to start getting a little bit of lands right up. We are listening, Majesty. Yes, Majesty. It's an honor, Majesty. Mm, is there anything else good for pillaging? Probably. But I think we probably go down and we just pillage everything below us. We are likely... Where are we going to expand? If I was going to drop a base... I kind of want to drop it down here and maybe fight over the Well of Riches. That would be fun. In an evil sort of way, which is, yes, you know, it's Majesty. what you do. You do the evil sorts of fun when you're Carino. We are ready. Is there anything good for pillaging? Not for three more days. Maybe I could... <laughs> Scared of losing troops, actually. Let's make some more conscripts. And we could armory him up. I guess this guy can take less damage in melee. And this guy could heal conscripts faster or something like that. I can live with that. Over here, we got Plascrete. It pays that extra for statecraft, so it sounds like you're also a research hub, my man. We'll just get all the expensive stuff down in Sandfall. And it will turn that stuff into delicious, delicious knowledge for us. Sandfall, of course, being 6% of your upkeep of the village gets turned into knowledge. Yes, very good. Very solid. Once upon a time, I was not as much of a fan, but uh, YouTube comments we have steered me right. Thank you. We serve the Imperium. Let me, let's make sure I rally points. Not in the desert. Because we don't want to get eaten by like that harvester just did. We are listening, <clears throat> Majesty. Yes, Majesty. It's an honor, Majesty. How are we looking? 105 to annex. We can do that in one day. Oh, their sandworm is still there. It was foolish to walk It's an honor, Majesty. It was foolish to walk across the desert, boys. Oh, I thought maybe that since he ate the harvester. Like a second ago, we'd be fine to like wander across. Like maybe he'd be full, right? Surely he can't eat a another another thing. That sandworm's got to be full. He's gonna need to let that digest. You shouldn't eat two meals in such a quick succession. But no, that was a gluttonous sandworm, and he ate Majesty. a whole bunch of conscripts. Yes, Majesty. Fear not, we have invested heavily in our uh, in our manpower. What's this? I could... We could investment office it for more Plascrete still? I don't hate that plan entirely. We and we've got ready. that done. Oh, but we are light on the Plascrete, actually. Where are we going to pull we some Plascrete from? <clears throat> this guy needed a blue. That's what it was. It's going to slow, slow down my refinery, but that's actually going to make a ton of money doing it, too. Let's, uh, let's, let's meet up everybody. In fact, let's go back home because it's time for more pillaging. And, um, yeah. Try not to get eaten by worms again, if you could. And we'll keep trying to steal points of interest from our friends on the map. Our frenemies. What's this looking like? Admin consolidation, outpost logistics. Okay, we are getting some tech. It's moving along. I think we'd come back for the yes, yellow stuff Majesty. coming up next. Oh my god, I missed the whole economy developments. I wasn't paying attention. I probably got some of them. Crap, I should. I was researching green stuff when I should have been researching yellow stuff. Wasted that. I wasn't thinking about it. Urgh. Always, always switch over to the plus 50% developments. That's it's a huge boon. Um, and let's say every faction gets some Lonsrod. I could have just left that as myself, actually. I should have just left it as myself, because it would have left Vernius and Harkonnen in the pits. Hmm. Yeah, that was foolish of me. I just wanted to make sure that I got it without thinking. I could let one of them fight over it, and then one of them would have gotten messed up. Foolish of me to allow that to happen. <laughs> we'll make it everybody, and then we'll vote it down. Uh, nope, it passed, of course. They were all happy to have that back. Uh... Yeah, it was just, I just didn't think that went through. But what passed? Red stuff, right? So 
We moved to red stuff. Boom, 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 boom. I did it all for the red stuff. What am I getting right now? Not modular parts, red stuff, please. Please, please, please. Okay. Let's pay attention. Let's get our heads in the game. We are trading over there. Hoping they'll be nicer to us. Down here, we will get even more. Nope, we don't have any water. It's just such a shame to get a dew collector here when we want high. When we want high costs on stuff, but it is the only five wind we've got. Our wind is pretty lousy everywhere else. And we, we dearly need we the water. We're just, we're, we're just we're tight on the plasgreen. Has anyone got extra plasgreen they want to sell? I can. Not that I have enough to buy anything. <laughs> There's some plascrete. You. Yes, go Majesty. find me some plascrete from there, please. We are ready. And am I still researching something out on the map? I'm not at the moment. What could I, should I do? Maybe we'll grab the one down there. We serve the Imperium. Okay, lots to build. We need to get that refinery up top, that... We need to get that refinery up top. And we need a friend. My support is not. Vernius, be our friend. Yes, Majesty. Okay, we got some plascrete. Let's get our refinery. Chome integration just got patented. It's no fun. Reporting for duty. Vernius um, is thinking about that we trade, but probably will not do it. We We've got a revealed siege. Recruitment initiatives is done. All right, we're, we're burning through the red, the red stuff. This siege is two percent more special resources, and it's in the that region. Oh, that would be a nice siege to have. One ninety to annex. We're a hundred away from it. Foliage is down there. It is not necessarily rightfully his. It is equidistant between us. Let us, let us make some guys. We need a bigger army yes, if we're going to try and contest that. We are ready. I think we're going to pillage listening. that Majesty. one. What is this quest? Kill militia for a free Sardaukar. That's decent. We'll take that. More guys coming out of the siege, but they're going to fight someone else. We don't mind that. Okay, we wanted a base building is what we wanted. Extra plascrete, extra solari. Yeah, maybe so. Reporting for duty. We'll pillage down there. Chome shares. We hit a hedge threshold. We did not get peace with them. Maybe we could do some peace with the Ikaz? Who is the Ikaz? Let's talk Zord. Listening, Majesty. You want to be buddies, Ikaz? There's no need for us to to cause trouble with one another. Yes, Majesty. Yeah, just go home. Why are you guys staying out there too long? We're thirsty because we have one water. It's not enough water. It's a tad light on the water, in fact. On watch. This guy makes me some water. So thirsty. We could make more Sardaukar. I'm all right, thanks, he says. Come on, Baron, you're my man. Be my buddy. Unless you want to sweeten the pot. No, my man, Zord, we tried the carrot, now it's the stick. <laughs> Baron's happy to do it. Let's, let's be friends, Baron. Let's do a trade agreement, my man. Let's make some money up in here. And I'll send you Sardaukar. Just as was foretold. Okay, annexing that is still buck 90, but we're not too far off. We just want, we want another little extra troops out. Double incinerators, some Sardaukar, a bunch of conscripts. We should be good to go and take it. Make it ours. It's just too the thematic. 
I knew you couldn't resist. <laughs> Flame is reporting. We're here to clean up the mess. We, All right, we need money. We might have to pillage on our way down. <laughs> what are we grabbing out in the world? We're grabbing that thing over there. What do you need, Let's go pillage down there. We are listening, Majesty. We the I thought Ekaz had walked up to take this. They didn't. It is abandoned. He took it and then abandoned it? He didn't build anything there? Now I'm confused. No idea why a person would do that. He's not playing Mesa, is he? <clears throat> why would you take it and then abandon it? He changed his mind? He was running out of guys? He didn't have stuff? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I think... We're happy saucing up the harvesters a bit. We are very close, just a little over a day away from that one. We will steal all the spices. We should have been selling. We weren't paying close attention to our rates. Private mandate, infrastructure control, authority. Hmm, and I am sitting on the most, so I could pick what I wanted. But if I apply stuff, then I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm alright, I'm alright. Let's make it, let's grab the propaganda ourselves. We would like infrastructure for control, control but authority is so good. I love authority. Finally, we're finally making some money now that I remembered to sell my chome. 2.2 is a pretty decent rate early on. Are people talking? No. Just thinking. What are you thinking, House Vernius? My man, Kenry? All right, no one can test it. Oh, we all pick different things. How convenient. Let's get this annexed quick in here. Ekaz is walking over. They don't got enough men to contest me. I think this looks over there like a promising spot for a base drop. <clears throat> that would allow us to annex over there real easily. But we need a bunch of money for a base drop is the problem. Let's get our modular parts up. Do we, ha we only have the one thing. Probably not a good fact fuel cell factory kind of game. Oh yes, give me the processing plants. Plus 44 Solari, we can build two of them. Ho, 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 ho. It's everything we've ever dreamed of. And we'll prep a scavenge to scav team. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this last probe setup. I don't think I have any more guys around me really, so let's just toss it behind the ECAS. And we need some militia in here as well, in case they get a little handsy. What's that? That's intel. Okay, this up here. Village and research hubs. Do I invest in more research hubs? I'm so, still so tight in the water, but it seems like a really lousy place to build water. To double build water, for sure. This guy is making... Pretty decent cash here. Solari per military. Yeah, pretty decent cash indeed, my friend. Plus plus sixty percent resources and then two processing plants. Marvelous. Okay, we need money. How are we gonna get money? To get money we need to pillage things, but everything good's already been pillaged by the dirty Vernius and also I'll have to go home and pillage stuff. <laughs> Also, we can't walk that far because we don't have any water. Do we pay for the Chome integration at the moment? Let's not worry about it too much. We'll go back to admin consolidation and the Imperial base. We will go for the probably the Harvester Works is what's up next. What do I need? 900 for that? 
Should be able to should be able to do it without too much trouble. Anything good around the map to steal? Still stuff from over by Kenry. Oh my god, we are all we're running out of water. Our two water is not enough, it seems. There we go. Let's get this third yellow up. You can be harvester works. Step back here into our territory. Let's regen an ever so little amount of supply. Go up there and pillage that. This guy is the recruitment office guy. That guy's the Plascrete guy. I think I could I could build another Plascrete in there, right? Yes, we'll do more Plascrete. More Plascrete, more upkeep. We'll steal the good stuff over most from Kenry. Because he'll hate that. <laughs> Still, I mean, there's still a number of regions I kind of have want, so I don't want to tear them up yet. I think we want admin consolidation. We got all the red stuff we want. That's really nice. Diplomatic spying. I think we got to do the, our Chom branch next. Ugh. Imperial researchers. What do I want? I, no, we'll go outpost logistics to help with this expansion we've got in our brain. What else would I pillage there? There, I can pillage that one. Trying not to pillage things we will eventually want. Trying to take points of interest from everybody else. Alright, I like the Baron bumping up against everybody else. I don't like you fettering my friend. <laughs> I am cackling over here. <laughs> Fen ringing. <laughs> Says I can tell. Elite of the Imperial Major Service. In a smooth melodic voice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kenry. That's very kind of you. Uh, okay, okay. If we were going to pillage, what would we be pillaging? Um, Lordy Lord, we need some supply. <laughs> Maybe we move that lady up to supply. Extra Solari production. We are very close. Oh, the chome rate's bad, though. But we're so close to having enough money. Grab some of the stuff around us that we just can grab with our little feetsies. We are listening, Majesty. Our little feetsies. We pillage that one. We pillage that one, right? My God, we might just have to wait. Or our 3,000 like a barbarian. Ekaz is walking through. Looks like they're taking that spice field. It's alright. I don't want that spice field yet. You can keep it for now. Let's bump them out a bit. We've got a nice um, trade agreement up. And we're giving them an imperial mandate. It only lasts for two more months. But it's still fun and funny. Pull in a little extra spice there. Okay, I can't wait. Just give me my money. Where's my money? I think we're gonna drop right here. 3k money to do the drop. Got a thopter. We got some extra intel. Oh, we love some intel. What is our... Refresh my memory. We need double in the lands rad to afford orbital strikes. And we love a good orbital strike. Hmm, elected faction there, elected faction there, all factions suffer. I don't think I care about any of that. This can happen. Even if it's on me, I don't particularly care. I'd be happy to stockpile after after I get just a little bit more. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh, I should have put 10 over there. I didn't see the dear to minor houses. It sneaks by every time. I really wish they would color code those. It is on me, thanks to Vernius. I wasn't able to put it on Vernius. And then cheaper manpower for the ECAS. Hmm. <laughs> Do I? What am I doing with my authority? Oh, I'm dropping a base. Is what I'm doing. You want some tech, my friend? It's a trick, but I do want some tech. But it's a trick. But I do want some tech. I <laughs> 
<laughs> last time he asked me if, he, if I wanted tech, I tried to send him in a, in a trade agreement. He said no right away. <laughs> what a troll. This time, this time you won't fool me. Let us drop the base, as they say. Imperial base is down, and we will go grab over there about. Oh, we need a little more. Um, let's spend our plas crew down. We are quite plas creeded, quite well creeded currently. I forgot to build over here. Should have been building in there like a madman. Should be building all over the place. I guess you could spice silos. These guys will be friendly and plus 10% production. I forgot about that completely. That's awesome. Did Ekaz walk up there and then devastated it? Did he pillage? He pillaged it? I'm confused, Ekaz. What are your what are your plans for that? What are you even doing with it? I would I thought you would have taken it like twice over by now. Ooh, let's take the spaceship parts. 155. We're ever so close. We won't. As long as we stand in the circle, we won't die of thirst with our three water. But we're perilously close to dying of thirst. We should just take a water region. <laughs> He's walking back up. Are you attacking me? I wouldn't recommend it, my man. I wouldn't recommend it. You might be able to pillage it, but I'm going to walk my army back over. He is attacking me. He's a brave man. I need the supplies actually from finishing this up, so I can't walk back just yet. Let's go. Let's go. He is annexing. You're not gonna hold that, buddy. You're not gonna hold that. We're gonna go ahead and set the rally point here. And we'll add a couple Sardaukar to the Legion. He's attacking stuff, so he doesn't think he's going to be... Oh, he, he can't have two there, so that's why he's attacking. So the trouble is, I can kind of dance in and out here. Pull him... I, actually, I got to stay in the last... I got to stay on my own land, or we're going to run out of supplies. Um, why did my Sardaukar walk away? We've convinced him to leave. He has seen the light. Development research... Let's grab ourselves some valuable trinkets. No, spying logistics first. And then maybe over to Emperor's Eyes. I think is the way to do it. And base, let's build in bases. Like, um, come on, 900. Oh my god, we should have been stockpiling. We forgot about that. After we got the stink on us. 20%, oh. It's so much money, guys. It's... <laughs> So much money. Investment office. Some extra Sardaukar. Let's walk back towards the middle. Keep an eye on things. Let's make our Sardaukar extra choppy. These guys can give armor to my Sardaukar. Incinerators can burn people extra fast. It's, it's, it's a haggard Suboid Legion. Get out of my land, Suboids. What do you need, my Emperor? We're going. We'll go there now. This guy needs more militia back there, for sure. This lady here is going to be my liaison here. Boom, 10% more solar production. We're rich. Chomshas are expensive. Who's buying? Harkonnen's buying up. A good lad. A good lad. He knows he knows the, he knows he's supposed to buy stuff as the Harkonnen's. Let's get some militia in over there. Just grabbed a free warrior as well. What's that warrior gonna do? I don't know. But we could build a basis. I think we build down here to make our military cheaper. 
We are trading with these guys. Do I have special regions? One special, two special. Only two special. I think we're also, oh, we would take the mid. So this is the first game I've had to research insulated valleys out of necessity. Oh, low wind feels so bad. It does, I really hate low wind. <clears throat> He's building missile turrets. I'm not even coming to fight you, my man. I'm just living my best life over here. Moisturized and in my lane. Let's get a research center up. Probably should have done that earlier. Vernius is hedging. 3%, 4%, still 12% on the Harks. Statecraft developments are slow. Oh, I'm researching statecraft when statecraft developments are slower. And it'll change in a day, I guess. I have not been on the ball with that today, <laughs> embarrassingly so. One building of each type would help this with intel. Okay, okay, let's make sure we are still building all around. We are a bit light on the influence. A lot of Vernius influence, a lot of Ikez influence. Do we care about any of this? No. It's, uh, it's all all factions. We will just support that for the lands we had standing. Should we go and pick on the ECAS is the question. Probably. Probably. They did attack us first, so we are well within our rights to go. <coughs> we are well within our rights to go cause trouble. Who's, who's downvoting stuff? Harkonnen's downvoted that. Ekaz downvoted that. Interesting. What do you need, my emperor? What am I gonna take? I think I'm taking that spice field. Elite of Imperium now. at your service. We'll wipe them out. And that guy's building up still. We are building in the bases. What's this guy doing up here? He'd like to pay out for military buildings, but it hardly matters. Oh, we could do a wind there. Def definitely a wind trap. This guy up here doesn't know what he's doing, but I'm still deathly low on water, so I guess we're doing a water trap there. The water wind trap, you know the one. 135 to take this. Don't get eaten by worms, anybody. You see how the red exclamation mark above my guys is sort of grayed out? Watch this guy, if he walks out on the sand. He walks out on the sand. Eh, it should turn bright red. Yep, bright red. He's in danger, he's in danger. Dark red. He's safe. That's how you know that you're okay. That's how you know when you're not okay. We'll steal some tech from our friends. <laughs> I, I mean, I, it's fun being the, being, uh, it's fun being the old Carino just for Hasimir Fenring, who lets you in super fast investigate discoveries from all over the map. <laughs> oh man, it doesn't get old. It just doesn't. People are so used, or at least you should be. You really should be saving stuff up if no one else is pressuring you, but you can't. You can't save stuff up if, if, people, if Fenring just keeps popping in and, and yoinking it away. We got another spice field up. That's wonderful. We can get our boy, Captain Arsham. We are going to invest in more Sardaukar. We do got a fairly sauced up Ikaz army there. So the time of the Sardaukar is now. He looks like he's walking. He's walking, he's walking. This is not exactly what I want my end game army to be, but it's not too far off. So he, he might be in a bit of trouble there. This is a pretty solid force if he wants to contest it. Um, okay, did we steal that stuff from them? I don't know if we did or not. Might have gotten yoinked away. Oh, he is fight. We are here to fight. Let's target Whitmore with everyone since he's out front. Oh, I feel like that was a mistake. Whitmore is not dying very fast. Everybody's dead. 
worm got us. There goes Arshan. Looks like not as many guys died as I would have liked to have died. We killed out some knights at least. Let's focus fire them down. The worm is doing his work back there. <laughs> what a bloody mess. What a bloody mess. We're down to just squires. And one more guy that might get eaten by a worm soon enough. Set our rally point out here. Send the backup walking. I mean, I think the, the worm has saved us. Boy, that worm has feasted. <laughs> that shy Halut has feasted today. It's going to take us forever to burn through squires with their eight armor. But the Sardaukar should come in and help out. Bonus per military building. All right, sounds like an airfield to me. Stay on, stay on the rocks. There's worms everywhere. Let's go to work. Okay, we didn't. I mean, it wasn't great that we lost our hero, but we did give him give him a bit of what for. Okay, we got to keep building out at the bases, barracks, and then we need to come back and grab mechanization, which is a payout to Kenry. What's Kenry doing? I don't even know. The Great Worm Feast this day. Say hello. Who's hungry, my friends? We the car. We salute our emperor. Couple of conscripts. Be another maybe another hero. There goes our lands red standing. Praise be, says Captain Lanky. What is this? We wanted one of each over here, didn't we? Which I think means maybe maybe a little missile turret, and maybe we aim to annex that next chance we get? That might be fun. Let's walk back across the desert without getting eaten by a worm, everybody. We need Landsrad friends. What is this guy? 20% intel and 20 of one building of each type. Very good. Sounds like you're a military base to me. Probably should have been a while ago. Oh, we love water cellar caravans. We will immediately buy up that extra authority. Let's go grab some stuff out of the desert there. Ooh, the Baron has got a wor uh, the, the uh, worm nest down there. How's he doing on his choman? He is choman at 20%. Gonna stop at... 30% right Baron let's buy some chum <laughs> yes he says correct answer if someone asks you if anything in Dune Spice Wars you say yes um, he has been building masterpieces here look at it he's been that's all right. We're gonna claim it. We're gonna claim it anyways. They are pillaging up there, which we don't love. But let's switch over to airfield filter to make sure we can see that appropriately. <clears throat> all factions lose lands red standing. Could send Bernie's back to the pits. Doesn't stop being funny. I kind of think we like all factions lose lands red standing actually. The elected faction gains per village. Let's apply some stink to that so that we get it at least. And we do want to kind of, we're not really leaning into the politics ourselves, so we want to we want to pit everyone else's standing as best we could. But we're not, not so much that we're going to actually spend our influence on it, so we'll just see. That did not pass. Vernius is opposed to it this time. But we did get a bunch of money. Let's use that money to buy some more shares before other people do. Can we be grabbing stuff? Yes, we will grab. We will absolutely grab the authority points of interest that pop up in the map. Absolutely. So what is that up there? Yeah, I'm pleased enough with that. I think this has got a bunch of uh, masterpieces in it, but. Um, it's all right. They can stay. We don't got to get rid of them right now. 
We may stop pillaging this guy so that we could annex him eventually, but there's lots of other stuff to annex as well. Hmm, what looks good? I think we want this harvester filled out and then put on safe mode. This guy here wanted one of each, didn't he? No, he didn't, but he could. I think we're gonna data center him. What's in here? We are getting Emperor's Eyes, very good. That will help keep us from getting murdered. Um, and we've spent all of our vast stockpile of, um, of Plascrete. We're still making mad cash, so we will keep buying up. Karina loves a good, uh, loves a good Chom battle. Especially on four spice fields, we will be making some big, some big stacks here, some fat stacks, if you will. I think we want valuable trinkets probably sooner rather than later, and then we maybe come back for the Chom integration. More Chom shares, keep it buying. We are, we are actually stockpiling because the rate is the worst it's ever been in the history of the universe. Let's walk back up and we'll pillage the, the stuff we don't like back at home. Listening. We've got everybody on. Uh, nope, not everybody. Deploy this guy, get more Thopters out and about. Put a Thopter on him and call him safe. And we keep pulling the good stuff off the map. Did I mention I love Fenring? He's, he's literally my favorite part of the entire faction. He's so fun. This guy has cheaper buildings. Um, you can have a space and guild too. How about that? Cheap space and guild. Oh, we got worm oh my god, worms just tore up another 30, 50% of my army. You're just walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. It looks like they ate mostly conscripts. We got that going for us. Couple of incinerators, please. Couple. No, we got. One swordsman. I feel like the late you can't cancel units that are being trained anymore. When once upon a time you could. Am I crazy? Did, did the hotfix do that to us? You can't cancel units that you've trained. All clear. Captain Ramsham, sorry, car. Hmm. Okay, let's get some supplies up, since that seems to be a running problem for us. We are starting to build up our Plascrete again, so let's get an Emperor's Monument up for sure in there. What do we even want from here? I don't know. We've got we've gotten more everything in our wildest dreams. I think we go and grab our fuel cell region. Yeah, we've really we've really gotten everything we could want. It's been pretty great, if we're being honest here. We could Oh, what are you doing? Are you looking to cause trouble? You do look a bit like a troublemaker. What do you need, my emperor? Keep a close eye on you, buddy. Pal. Hark wasn't even on Yellow Spice Tech, just using mine. Oh, that's funny. He's at 31%. 31 and climbing. He might be new, but he, he choman. No one compares to Sartakar. We need our second lands right up real bad. We need to keep an eye on the wider world. Make sure we're stealing the good stuff. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about this chome. This is about when I would attack someone for choming too much. Tell you what, Baron. We're gonna go and cancel the trade agreement. We can still be friends, just not that good of friends. And we are honestly... <laughs> we'll say, honestly, we're a tad light on the military for, um, for getting eaten by sandworms constantly. If we're gonna keep doing that, we ought to... We gotta rethink our 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 manpower income here. Okay, recruitment office here because this is paying out three 
Solari per red building. This guy here wants one building of each type, so I think you are a data center. What's my end game goal here? We could build up military and maybe try for a knockout blow on the ECAS. That was only two fields, FYI. And he's got a. I know, he's got a worm nest. He hasn't even taken that, man. I'm concerned. He's, he's choming well. There's a combine harvester flying around. Like you do. Let's do double missile turrets here, I think would be wise. This guy here, probably these front lines need some more defenses, but for now they're fine. There's my military, looking okay-ish. We are about to get the mechanization up. Send non-aggression attack and I'll cut him off. <clears throat> this is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> this is embarrassing, but I don't have the water to walk there. <laughs> can't see. What did that guy say? I hate that my text box is, is right underneath at this resolution. I can't really see what people are typing. The elected faction gains Landsrad standing. Mm -hmm. I kind of want that on them. House Carino is me, but Vernius and Ikaz are both more political. No. He guy's looking to go politics if he gets charter vote for me. I'm not voting for you, Kenry. Or he can't lose it. No. No, Kenry. Why? You didn't even vote for yourself. You dog. Never mind. I'm not eligible. Okay. What's, what did that? The military get power went on me. I guess I'm not attacking anybody. Who put that on me? Probably the Ekaz. You wanna fight Ekaz? I'll fight with minus 20%. I don't care. I'm crazy, son. I'll fight with minus 50% military power. Alright, we are looking good over hereabouts. Yeah, that'll be... Uh, plus 30% manpower actually will be all that we need. That will make us nice and happy. We've got... A two wind, a two wind. I guess we've only got two of the two winds, so not too, too terrible. We salute our and we need more authority to take the middle. Valuable trinkets is still what we want. He is going to pillage the middle again, right? Right, just a pillage. We've got our chunky army up. What are we doing with it? We're just making money with it right now. Still makes sense to buy, probably. There's 10%. That's something. We could go back and take that one behind us. That would pay out a bit extra knowledge. That's probably a good call for us, since we're still light on the knowledge. What is this guy doing up here about? Spice, for sure. Spice, spice, spice. In fact, this guy in the middle touches both of those spice regions, so he ought to spice himself. This guy's paying intel per statecraft building, so I think it's a listening post. Is it time yet? It's not time yet. We want the Landsrad second level of influence so that we could prepare the orbital bombardment. Um, everyone's pretty close on hedge. I'm the only one cooking anything thanks to the Emperor's Monument, which makes it for you. <coughs> And we may stop pillaging these regions in the back of our base in case we need them for some sort of hedgy, hedgy boom boom. You know, the hedgy, hedgy boom boom. Oh, we do have the research center already made, so we're not exactly ready for the hedge boom. Um, the rate is still awful. It's going to change in two days. Keep an eye on the rate. We might need to... Might, might be a seller's market. And we will prep the scav teams. That's right, we were going to go down here and we were going to um, um, spice silos this place in just a day. The lucrative spice silos. Spice silos, of course, affect the region it is in and every adjacent region. So because this guy is touching 
his his two spice neighbors. It's a perfect spot. He guys are looking belligerent, but we don't have to be. We could be friends. We could be friends. We gotta do something about the Hark Menace. He is a, nope. <laughs> He's coming to fight. He was not interested in that cold deal. That is not a good spot to fight in, though, my man, because I have two missile turrets here, which are going to be real painful for you to cut through. And my army is not that far. Everybody kill that one night there. Getting this knight down. Oh my god, he's got so many stacks on him. Oh my god, we've got stacks on us. Get off the sand. Never mind, kill, kill these guys. We'll get some executing out pretty please. Rally more Sardaukar in. More conscripts in. There we go, the Sardaukar are starting to get their executing off. So I think this guy might be immune to executing is the problem. Arisham overstayed his welcome. Yikes, tough fight. He's doing well. We do still have missile turrets that are going to be shooting him the whole time though, so we've got that going for us. We got a free Fremen sibling, that's nice. Mr. Fredman's sibling, you can go in there. What does Liad command? Yes, Liad. Missile turret's still blasting away. More Sardaukar coming. Oh, you didn't, didn't bargain for the neighboring missile turret. Yep, you gotta leave. You gotta leave. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Bon voyage. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Uh, I was actually I'm pretty depressed with how well the army fought there, but um, we did. Uh, maybe we need more artillery drones. That's probably the ticket. We need. We did. Uh, we did beat them. Held them back with our savvy defensive play. We got that going for us. Spice rate is crap again, so we will just be poor forever. But we do want to take. Well, we're gonna not have enough authority to take. I was gonna say, we do want to take the middle, like, eventually. He's at 32%, which is pretty decent. Oh, we had the minus 20% power on us. Oh, that does explain a fair bit there. What's this? He, is, he has the siren attacking my harvester. It's pretty rude, man. Pretty rude. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, where are my Majesty. riflemen? It's an honor, Send the riflemen over. Judge of the council or cell searches. Wouldn't hate to have a cell search up. It's probably some some heinous assassination going on out and about in the world. <clears throat> I'm going to take judge. The elected faction. Suffers loss of chome shares. Yeah? Sorry guys, I can't I can't see because of the, the stupid text is underneath my, my window here. Mm, this is going on Harkonnens with everything we got. Portfolio scrutiny. Maybe we give a little bit over here to try and get that to pass. <laughs> Someone else better vote for him. If I'm the only one voting for him, I'm gonna. If you both fight over the judge of the council and then let the Harkonnens get away with this, the elected faction suffers it. All right, good. And everyone did fight over there, and then the cell searches did pass, so we can do some cell searching. At your service, your majesty. Let's go to work. We won't fail in our duty. All good. 
steal this from over here, we steal that from up there, make sure our thievery is cooking along. We chase away their gunship with our conscripts. What do we need? What do we need? We need chrome integration for sure, and then probably a crew training program. And then probably the chrome manipulation. That was rude. It was unnecessary. Are you fighting this guy again? I am happy to come fight about this, my man. What do you need, my emperor? As our emperor commands. <laughs> He's harassing my harvesters. What's the chome rate look like now that we mention it? Oh, I guess it hasn't really gone down as much. Are someone else buying the dip? Is Ver did Bavernius buy the dip? Look, oh, probably so. Get on this freaking sand, off the sand, or what? Whichever you gotta do not to get eaten by worms. Arsham's coming back out. Only in game. I'm not actually offended. I'm offended that you thought I was offended. Um, let's see. This guy needs more knowledge back hereabouts since he's getting paid out from the abandoned Imperial Station. Yes, yes. Good, good. This guy is making me fuel cells. At your service, your Majesty. This guy's the getting deployed. And then he's got a missile turret there. He probably needs a missile turret here. It will be time to take the middle next go round <laughs> once this pillaging modifier falls off of it. What do you need, my emperor? What's our army look like here? I think it looks like two no we, uh I wish I could cancel making guys. I don't I only wanted one incinerator. Sandworms causing trouble, causing a ruckus across the map. How's the chome looking? 27% on him. Good, good. It's super expensive. Someone's buying up again. Who's buying up? Maybe I'm just going to bank for a while. Hope it comes back down. It's not exactly where I want it to be. Um, and we got to get the armory up for our artillery drones. I do like the attack range, but... For now, we're going to go with the heavy loads and the incendiary ammo so that we don't um, make the minimum attack range too big. I've been fighting him for the last five minutes. Hey, no talking in private. Listening, Majesty. <laughs> we salute our Emperor. Vernius is trying to incite incite against me. I should just walk up and stab him. I don't know why I haven't been. Um, what do you need, my emperor? We didn't find any cells in our front lines, so people are not selling me up. Curious. Super duper secret whispers. It's encrypted. This all sounds illegal. Okay, okay, let's get the full army up. <laughs> it's too many, it's too many incinerators. How much does incinerator take? Five? Yeah, two incinerators is the amount of incinerators that I like. More than two is right out. Hammers can attack ground units and do ground unit stuff. We're a little, we're a little ways out from the Kronos. We've got ourselves, what, five, six, seven points to use? Ugh, how do we fit that in? Maybe one more Sardaukar? Truce ended. The Harkonnens have untruced me. Are you sp spreading lies against me, Kenry? Why would my Harkonnen brothers do that to me? Why would they do that to me? Where is my gosh darn orbital strike? Two in the lands are no, it's two in the spacing guild. Oh, it's two in the spacing guild, not in the land. I misread the icon. I'm enraged at the moment. Currently enraged. Harvester in working 
And this guy got eaten, even though he's on safe mode. Further enraged. Aye. definitely don't have any um, any bad stuff in our lands because we've searched the front lines and nothing Keep pops up do we military factory we do we absolutely do could be getting in trouble our army is 166 so it costs us an extra 80 a day which is expensive but I'm worth it What's going on? What's happening out in the wider world? I think we did get our valuable trinkets. So let's make sure we are utilizing that. I think we, no, what do we do? I think we, no, the, the, missile battery, the missile battery there is so nice. Have we taught Ekaz a lesson? I don't think we have. Can we dump more water? I don't think we can. <laughs> we need all the water we can get. Are we making water over here? We could. We could dump this water, maybe. We need our craft workshops up. Two, uh, no, it takes water for the craft workshops. Curses. We need to take this middle. When's this middle coming up? Looks like seven-ish days. We have a slightly better chome rate. Two, point, two is bad still. It's frustrating. Hmm, controlled markets. Does it? Everybody want the controlled markets on them. Does everybody want... No, everybody doesn't want truces, but I kind of want truces. The minor houses decide. Elected faction gains stuff. Let's, let's, we'll dump our goodies into the diplomatic congress. Someone's going to fight for governorship, but as long as it's not ECAS, we'll be fine. Treaty on me, he says. Oh, you mean Diplomatic Congress? <clears throat> I'm going to try and get it on myself. He took the eye. I took the truces. No one compares to Sardaukar. No one compares to Sardaukar. Let's... We got some water from something. What was giving us a water I deficit? Oh, we got the truce, and then we got all the tech from Vernius. Oh, so something they got must have given us goodies. <laughs> or maybe something got built somewhere. I don't know. Regardless, we got what we needed. Oh, this is like a god-tier experimental furnace. Plus 30% here, and here, and here, and there. Oh, my man. Oh. Let's buy some chome just thinking about it. So let's sauce up these harvesters to their fully operational battle station levels. Do we want to opt our conscripts into little, um, into cheap, cheapy conscripts? Minus one command points, but they lose damage and health. Make more of them fit. It would knock two guys off. It would give me enough to afford what's an artillery drone? It's 4-5. No. We can't quite get there unless we knock them off the riflemen. And I kind of like the riflemen as little as DPSers. We'll sit on it for now. Let's move over here actually. He's going to try and get this first. Can I get this first? He's thumpering? You dick. Thirsty? I am thirsty. Am I not gonna get it? It's point one days. What do you need, my emperor? We salute our emperor. <laughs> I can't believe he thumpered me as I'm walking through the desert. He got it. What a jerk. What a jerk. Ikez. You can't break the treaty, Ikez. Walk it off. Walk it off. We've got um, we've got all the Vernius goodies on us right now. There is still a thumper thumping back there. <clears throat> we'll walk back home. We needed uh, where's our other special region? This guy here. We will cancel the research lab and opt for a craft workshop. 
In fact, maybe I should be doubling up on my craft workshops. Because I am well behind. Let's, let's do it. Let's dump the research center so that people don't think I'm scary. We will opt into the Landsrad quarters. No, I don't want to double there because it's so valuable. And in here, I could dump a Plaskrete factory, so that would work fine. So what we did is we canceled our research center, so we're down even more. So we're only at 16k hedge, so we don't look frightening. I think I might come capture th uh, that region just to uh, just to get the water out of it. We could double build water in there. It's five wind. It's something. <clears throat> We got enough for extra militia everywhere? Oh, because we're friends with the Falvernians. I think that means it's a listening post there. And there's the orbital strike. Finally. Finally an orbital strike. This has fallen off in 26 days. That's fine. We'll, t we'll eat the penalty on our authority. It's no big deal. Chome manipulation is what we want next up. Seven thousand dollars to buy chome. Everybody's chome. Baron's choming, I guess. Baron, how much money are you sitting on? Four K, ten K on Ekes, eight hundred dollars on Vernius. <laughs> poor, poor, poor Vernius. Permanently gain some chome shares and fuel cells. Don't mind if we do. Let's pull out the Cronus. We really just want, um, we may dump the Mason's Guild. No, we've got to finish building in there. So we might dump the Mason's Guild for a chome branch, which would make us a ton of money if we ever got there. We are light on the special regions, though. Hmm. I could bust up one of these masterpieces and put another missile turret over here. We'll lose 10 authority and 10 lands are at standing. Let's, but let's do it. We bust up a masterpiece. We we'll go for the extra missiles, just to keep Ekaz honest. All right, is there anything else we need to be building? I think I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna, hmm. Are you gonna get eaten by a worm again here? Don't, don't eat me, bro. All right, we should be safe. Let's grab that back there. That's getting attacked by neutrals. That's just, that's just barren stuff. Just barren stuff. Oh my God, he's still buying up? It's 7K. I don't wanna buy at 7K, but. You guys are safe, right? Cause it sure looks like there's a worm trying to eat you. The Coronas is up, though. We got that going for us. That'll help us to go and burn down the Harkonnen base when it's time. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, sort of impressed with how well the... Uh, with how well these dirty uh, Ekaz have been fighting into me. Maybe I need another missile turret over here about... We'll dump the manpower building and opt into second missile turret. We've had one missile turret, yes. You enjoying that passive hedge day? day? It, it isn't quite enough. I'm special starved. Oh look, a loss of rights. Let's all vote for that. Hooray, loss of rights. They're all going to vote against it. Ekaz and Vernius will vote against it. I could try... No, I mean, I guess the Harkonnens... Oh, Hark is fat and happy on four fields right now. He's gonna show us out. Hmm. We'll throw everything into supporting that, but it's gonna fail, because they'll, they'll can put at least 400 against it without caring. Hark's probably grab this for themselves, unless Ekaz or Vernius are feeling extremely greedy. Oh, I got it. Thanks to minor houses. Whoa. Happy days. Happy days. Chome rate is bad again. So we got that going for us. <laughs> Damn it. 
Let's um let's dump this Mason's Guild. He was making us a little bit of money. But we'll opt into the Chone branch to let us stockpile a bit better. How do we feel about an admin burden? How do we feel about Ikas are pushing in from the south? There are a lot of Cerberuses there. He's got Yakin. Yep, it is a it is a real army. Let's go da back down here. We're gonna get ready to take this when it comes back up, and if needs be, we will just fight Vernius for it. In which case, we need to prep an EMP bomb as well as all the other good stuff. Craft workshops there. I really don't want to bust out a processing plant just for another craft workshop. We'll just sit on this passive hedge for a while. Looks like we might be de declaring war on Vernius. The Kronos will take position there. Yes, Majesty. No one compares to Sardaukar. Elite of the Imperium at your service. This is war, you know. What do you need, my Emperor? Arrakis is our home. What do you need, my Emperor? My support is not free. He's teleporting away. <laughs> What are we shooting at? Oh, he turned he turned my 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 things against me. Our Conan's coming in. How long is that thing? <laughs> Get the rally point down here. Let's make more guys. Back door is for a while still. We are nuking them by the by the minute though. Arasham can start executing people, please. We drop some supplies in there. There, we've taught a lesson to them. All of my mech units are still fighting against me, which is not ideal. Conans are now getting blasted as they come in. We'll prep more. We've taken it. Time to get out of here. I put admin burden on him. Don't let him take the center. I've taken the center. The high ground is mine. We're doing okay here. We did we did good damage with that orbital strike. But we do got a lot of people causing mischief still. Oh, we, we, we backed off of him just when we shouldn't have. He's gonna run out of supplies though, so we should be okay. Get militia in here, get missile turrets up in here. Double missiles, here comes the ECAS. This is not exactly what I had in mind for an endgame battle, everybody. We did bring down the big thing. We are running in to keep fighting. Let's get our Sham back, actually. More Sardaukar landing. Some lancers in here, or some um, fencers in here from somewhere. Some random fencers. This is uh, more than I expected. We can drop more missiles on them and prep extra missiles. If the 
Kronos can really tear him off if we can get rid of these musketeers. We can't. We got rid of the musketeers. We can just blast them now. We just keep blasting. The orbital strikes are so strong. The crew salutes you, Majesty. The orbital strikes are too powerful. You have no chance. It's over. It's over, Anakin. The high ground is mine. We did, okay, so we fought off three people. <laughs> Shit. Um, not exactly what we, the situation we wanted to be in. I thought we were just kinda, I thought we were just jockeying for position, everybody. Okay, that was crazy. Um, it's not even like I'm gonna win, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm a 20k hedge. <laughs> Yikes, yikes. Okay, okay, let's keep an eye on things. We do need to be rebuilding because we've got lots of lots of bad guys out in the world. Oh, we don't love that. Let's recall them because there's apparently sirens out and about. You should run those sirens. The sirens can attack air, can't they? Should have run them up and blow up my flagship. I don't really want architectural surveys, but I did just kill everyone's army, so I don't think they're going to base dive me anytime super soon. You can never quite know with people, though. Whew. I don't have any votes to do anything. <laughs> I don't have any of us to do anything. Uh, we'll try and get Chome dis dissolution passed. Ekaz is now up for governorship, potentially. Which would be real bad. Real, real bad. What do you need, my emperor? Let's move this guy out here. He can help assist to defend the harvester. We're rebuilding the armies. Okay, so that that fight went better, right? It goes much better when I, I kill three armies with my one army. Really, the orbital strikes did all the work. My armies didn't didn't help that much. <laughs> Alright, but the flagship is being rebuilt. We'll redeploy you. We'll deploy this artillery drone. Hopefully people are like not leaning into it too much cuz I'm just sitting on some passive hedge 52 passive hedge that is a lot of passive hedge admittedly I should probably just go should probably just put my balls on the wall you know 35 more days to get civilian defense force but we're at 19% chome and we've got this fun thing that says every 1% of chome gives us half a military power so we would love more of that if only there was ever a decent spice rate to ever sell or trade. That would be nice if there was ever a decent spice rate. What happened to all of my cell, my fuel cells? I swear we had fuel cells at one point. I swear we made money at one point. What's all this going down? Our base is weakened. I feel like, did our economy crash because of, because we, did, we stopped being friends with Vernius? 38 on Harks. No, Harks just went down to 36. Someone else bought. Oh, because shares got released, Harks went down. I can't afford to contest them, unfortunately. I don't got the fuel cells to make more drone, make more artillery drones, which is sad. Because I like them. We'll just grab a couple extra conscripts, I suppose. And keep saving up the intel. And... I don't know. Decoy Thumper, maybe? Carino's on plus 60 there. passive hedge. This is... So every 10 days, this is the equivalent of him taking one territory. That math doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> what do you need, 
Hmm, okay. Well, what's looking good? Which is why early passive is so scary. It's not scary. There's nothing scary here. I mean, it's the, it's the Vernius hedge we need to be worried about. Though nobody else is making any passive hedge. Just obstruct it and get it over with. No, I shouldn't even tell him that. I shouldn't even tell him that. Just let it cook for a little while without it being obstructed. I think he's happy to have everyone united against me for the moment. Hmm, this guy, no. It's tough to give up economic advantages when we're already losing money. Hmm. What did I build up in that base? That's right, I built the chome thingy. But the chome rate, oh, the chome rate's finally good. Let's sell. It's finally good. Let's stop sending it away to the spacing guild as well. We'll worry about that again if we need to. Let's make some money. Let's make some money. Plus 1.5k. But what are we doing about it? Waiting to see if you show them, show them through first. You gotta dispossess specials, says Kenry. Thirty-eight percent on Baron. Sitting on thirty-five K himself. He's gonna bamboozle you when you jump me. So, the trouble is, Kenry could, as... My support. Kenry could, um, obfuscate valuable trinkets. <clears throat> in which case, I lose my ability to, uh... I lose my ability to, um... Craft workshops. I think he's not thinking about it right now, which is the only reason he hasn't done so. Let's keep buying the chill, keep it up. The chances are other than lobbies will buy two. So that's the other issue. If he has gets gov, he can't lose it lose it. That is an issue, isn't it? A lot of win cons in this little race. Let's so let us switch this guy out to cheaper. We'll make our conscripts cheaper, I think. And by doing so, we make space for <laughs> one hammer. <clears throat> could be a lot of AOE coming up. We could ins we could add to the incinerators. We could add to the Sardaukar. I think we invest in incinerators and maybe another maybe another conscript rifleman. This guy. I mean, so the plan is, if people attack, we will fall back to safer areas and hit them with orbital strikes, and then after they've been softened up by orbital strikes, we move back in to jump on them. But the more time that passes with my hedge cooking, the better off we are. Vernius is the speaker, and he has a lot of lot 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 of uh, influence we need to keep Vernius from getting the governorship it's not this month portfolio scrutiny okay in that case we'll make sure gear eggs affects everybody Wait, is there a wild, a wild bounty over here? Smugglers want that to pass? I'm gonna invest in that. Then we're gonna invest over there and hope someone else does something about the portfolio scrutiny. I went in like two months, they're saying. Maybe if I build my research center, I'll run even faster. 
Oh no! Everyone was greedy and we didn't get shares away from them. You greedy. So greedy. Okay, what do I got? I can make 10k, so it's like 1500. I can't believe you guys took away my shares. <laughs> so greedy. Trouble is, they're kind of on the line between two places here. Okay, let's drop some missiles on them. He's getting messed up. And we can just shuttle in back there. Do I have the authority to take stuff? I do. I could do a boom. They're already attacking me. Let's do it. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna boom in a second. So I need to get my hedge boom going. We have fought off the ECAS. They have to leave. Give me your money so I can buy now. I can be a reliable ally. Buy some money from Kenry. And then don't mind me as I try to annex stuff in the back. He's on top of me here. We can drop missiles on him in a second. Then get more missiles ready. Shuttle down here. We fought off the Harkonnens. We're gonna do our best to hedge boom. So we take that one, then we take that one in the back. Vernius wants to trade with you. He wants my s no, you can't have my spice. I don't know what you're what you're playing at, Vernius, but I don't like it. We're gonna shuttle back there and take that. How about that? How's about that? What did I lose? I lost some things. Incinerators? No. I don't know what I lost. He's coming back out. We are gonna try and boom. As quickly as we can boom. But we do got harks all over us. No, go away. Come on, missile turret, save my ship. He's gonna get it. Look at these crazy mad lad gunners. Oh, that's not great. It's not the end of the world. Vernius is coming in. <coughs> it's getting, it's getting hairy. We took this one. I think we might be able to just boom straight to victory here. Shuttle in down there. We've got nothing else we could annex, so we just hope for the best. We salute our emperor. Kenry still hasn't remembered to obfuscate trinkets. Can't buy. Ekaz, we taught, taught some manners to, so they're not doing anything. Yeah, we're just chilling. We're just chilling here. Let's take out Hark. Okay, I'm on I took away passive hedge. <laughs> Dave, I'm spiking. Let's take out the Harks then. So he needs a region and two spice tanks to win. Okay, let's take out the Harks then. Guess, um, so he did, he did come around to getting out the hedge. Interesting. See what we could do to fight Harkonnens then. What do you need, my emperor? Hmm. 
I don't think I can even annex this. We're at 170. Yeah, it's 400 to take this one. Nope, he's flying in. He's gonna be on top of us. Anyone on me? Not really. And we're, we're tearing him apart, actually. We're tearing him apart. Park, you okay? <clears throat> Ekaz is gonna come cause trouble here. I don't wanna fight Ekaz. Trying to save. Ekaz. Trying to save us from Hark. Why are my guys not? Why are my guys not fighting? When they ought to be. Worms are getting them again, though. Got that going for us. Time to make new guys. Hark's a showman. I can't until that thing is up. Guys, get more guys. Kenry wants to trade with me. Non-aggression pact. I accept. Oh, we forgot to go in and vote something else up. Vernius is gonna get governorship, or Ekaz might. Hell. The elected faction. Oh, we gotta vote Vernius or Ekaz. Well, it can't be Ekaz. Oof. Can't be Ekaz. Ay, ay, ay. Sale incentive would make it more expensive, but that doesn't stop them, though. We gotta get, we gotta let Vernius win that, right? And then we gotta save our votes to get him out of it next time. Hmm. Yeah, no way around it. It's gotta be like that. He's gonna win governorship. You must go in on sale incentive. I'm going to keep... I got a ton of money to buy. So sale incentive does not... Oh, Ekaz won? What? What? Did Hark do that? What? He can't be voted out. Um, bold play? Bold move, Harkonnens. Um, does put us in a bit of a pickle here. What is that? Three forty-two to annex that. Oh yeah, yeah. So I got to annex a special from from him. Before the Harks chum all the way through. So I turn on my auto buy. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. They just got five Lanzarad guards. Okay, we gotta go fight Ekaz down here and get that get an annex on him to have any chance. And they're gonna try and defend it. Ooh, oof. Oh, it doesn't feel great. Feels like a messy one. Let's get an assassin out. There's not enough shares for him really to, to straight up win. I'm gonna win if I can take something. If I can fight these guards in my land, they're super easy to kill. So that's what we're banking on. Yep, very nice. Elite of the Imperial Major Service. Consider it done. We are ready. Yes. Taking position. Need his assassin ready for the next time knights come out here. We need to keep making more men. Yes, Majesty. Rally point right down there. 
342 to take it. I can't take it for like three or four days. Is there anything on the map to grab to give us authority? That's, yes. Boom. There it is. Hark Army dead. Working on ECAS. Actually, if I get this annex, I win the game. So I'm not working on ECAS. I'm just trying to save my life. Because this is a special region. Why no votes, Davok? I voted you. Hard beat. <laughs> Reporting for duty. Taking position. If we get this this win, you only had one hundred. Well, no. <clears throat> These coughs are killing me tonight, boys. Most of them I've been able to dodge. If I get this annex, I just win the game. This annex and the spice attacks is paying out in four days, so it's a win the game once this passes. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Just say the word. He is thinking of defending himself, but he's not going to make it. He's not going to make a special region here, because this is Mount Idaho. This is going to tickle over in like three days. Spice tax in like three days. GG Corino wins. We got it, boys. We got it. He might realize this. In which case, we will have to do battle. Get an assassin on there. Nice. Get some airstrikes on his stuff. We can always, we got money to pull in lots of mercenaries if needs be. But we're keeping them off the point so it's still ticking. I think we got it. I think it's GG. GG. There it is. How's Reno with the victory? That was pretty gnarly at the end there. Harkonnens, I think, had the money, but they were, um, they were held up because there were not enough shares to buy. Ekaz, of course, we can't get Governor away from, so they would have won in 20 days or so, so we needed we needed something there. Um, Vernius, of course, was stuck in the bad spot of being the only one without a wincon to chase, and yeah, I mean, he needed to count on... I don't know what he was counting on. <laughs> he was screwed no matter what. Somebody was going to win there. I don't, I mean, it doesn't look like I, I don't, wouldn't think I would be able to kill the entire ECAS base in time. I don't think we would be able to prevent the Harkonnens from buying forever. Good game. That was that was tougher than I thought it would be with some some of the newer bros. Well done, guys. Well done. Um, we had 18% on Carino, 14 on Vernius, one, 7 on ECAS, and 46% on House Harkonnen, but not quite enough developments. Um, turns out Vernius is good at getting developments. And economy, solar production. We made some good money there for like a little while. Looks like we were spiking up and then down. Oh, it was because we would hit our um, <laughs> we would hit our cap of stockpiling, and we would sell, and then like we would it would go down because we were sending some to the guild, so we would stop selling. So that's why it's crazy spiky for us. Harkonnens at one point were making three thousand. Very nice, my man. Very nice, and he's. He stacked up to 75k before he started buying wild, yeah. He and he still did he have enough at the end there still to keep buying? Yeah, he's still sitting on 30k. He just there just weren't enough shares for him to buy. There's the bump. The Carino bump. I think Kenry um was a little slow on obfuscating. He really should have done that. As soon as he saw that I was at plus 60, it should have just been boom. Anti-obfuscate, especially when you guys lose the 3v1 in mid. <laughs> Influence. Yep, Vernius was, was looking political. He was vying for it, but Ekaz is just a monster. And then the Harks, you know, threw us for a loop at the end there, voting Ekaz in. Pretty cool game. That was a fun one. I like House Carino, man. House Carino feels real good. You can't really do the boom thing, but you can do the you can do the the craft shop thing and just force people to walk into your orbital strikes and hope for the best and orbital strikes are wicked broken <laughs> fun game thanks for watching guys that's some Karina for you and I will see you around next time take care